Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explaining about uh, line graph data interpretation. Here I will explain the concept uh, line graph data interpretation. First of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully and uh, after that, according to the given information, we need to solve the questions. Uh, right? First, look at the information which is provided in this line graph DI. <coughs> See here, number of students. Uh, here in this students also we are talking about males and females separately. Number of students passed out from various colleges in a year. Here the information is very clear that uh, total how many students are passed out from various colleges. Here the colleges are A, B, C, D, E. These are the five colleges. In these five colleges how many students are? Uh, among the students also we are talking about males as well as females here males are representing with rhombus shape and the females are representing with uh, square shape and females are representing with square shape so and uh, one more information one more information is that all the values are in terms of thousands all the values whatever the value is said that is in terms of uh, Thousand. Suppose for example this is in between 20 and 25 so it is 22.5 thousand. Thousand in the sense you need to multiply this value with thousand. 22.5 into thousand which is equal to 22,500. That is the meaning of that particular statement. Here each and every value is in terms of thousands and the information is clear number of students of males and females uh, or toge uh, together and also individual how many students are passed from uh, various colleges a b c d e this is about the information now according to this information we need to solve the questions right look at the first question here the question what is uh, given is uh, what is the average number of students both males and females together passed out from all the colleges together from all the colleges we need to calculate the average from all the colleges what is the average number of students so here which is nothing but a b c d e we need to calculate the average of uh, total number of students uh, uh, passed out from all these colleges see first of all uh, what is this a value here A is nothing but uh, initially uh, in this A we have two values. One is males, one is females. Uh, here square shape is belonging to uh, females and the rhombus shape is belonging to males. Uh, right? So the first value males are 15,000 15, and females are 22,500. 22, Therefore total value is uh, here it is 500 and it is 7 and this is 3. 37,500. This is the value of A. Total value of A. Males and females together. And next coming to B. Here uh, for college B. College B. Males are 17.5,000. 17.5,000 which is nothing but 17,500. Whereas females are 20,000. Females are 20,000. Therefore, addition of these two which is equal to again 37,500. 37,500. That is about uh, uh, college P. And now coming to college uh, C. College C is uh, the male's value which is in between 25 and 30. Therefore, it is 27.5 thousands. That is nothing but 27,500. Whereas coming to females which is 35,000. Females are 35,000. Right. Now you can add these two. What you will get here it is 500 and it is 12. One is carry forward. 4 plus 2 6. 62,500. And next coming to college D. College D males are 25,000. Males are 25,000. And females are 30,000. Females are 30,000. Now you can add these two. Here it is uh, 55,000. 55,000. And finally, college E. College E males are 10,000. 
कॉलेज ई मेल्स आर टेन थाउजेंड एंड कॉलेज बी दैट इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव बिटवीन फाइव एंड टेन देर फोर इट इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थाउजेंड दैट इज नथिंग बट सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड नाउ यू कैन एड दीज टू वॉट यू विल गेट इज सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड now we got the total number of students in each and every college as we want to calculate the average of uh, average of all the number of students then the required average is equal to sum of sum of a b c d e in terms of both uh, males and females total value total value sum of a b c d e divided by number of colleges number of colleges that we are talking about therefore the required average is equal to here sum of all these values here one is 37500 second value b is also 37500 c 62500 next d 55000 and next e 17500 Divided by number of colleges, that is five. Now you can add all these values. What you will get? Average is equal to first units place. Last two digits are zero. Last two digits. And next, next coming to third digit, five plus five, ten. Ten plus five, fifteen. Fifteen plus five, twenty. Two is the carry forward. Two plus seven, nine. Nine plus seven, sixteen. Sixteen plus two, eighteen. Eighteen plus five. Eighteen plus five, twenty-three. Twenty-three plus seven, twenty-three plus seven, thirty. Three is the carry forward. And next, three plus three, six, nine, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. Here it is two lakh ten thousand divided by five. Now you can calculate this value directly. It will cancel with five table. Five four is twenty, and next ten is there. That is two times five two is, and next followed by three zero. So. therefore the required average number of uh, students of males and females together which is uh, 42000 42000 that is our required answer for this question which is uh, option b option b is the right answer for this question in this way you can calculate uh, the average number of students uh, here he is asking us to take both males and females together he is not asking about only males and only females so you need to be very much cautious about uh, this particular statement okay here the answer is uh, 42000 okay see the next question second one here the second question is uh, the number of females the number of females uh, who passed out from college c is approximately what percent of total number of females uh, passed out from all colleges together so here we need to calculate uh, females from college c percentage female percentage from college c which is nothing but college c females divided by total females total females into 100 percentage that will gives you the exact answer right therefore the required percentage required percentage is equal to first college c college c females females are nothing but a uh, square shape which is nothing but 35 all the values are in terms of uh, thousands so you just write down 35 only divided by total females now you can take all the values over there it is 22.5 and it is 20 and it is 35 and next 30 and next it is uh, 7.5 now you can take all the values in the denominator 22.5 plus 20 plus 35 plus 30 plus 7.5 that is total number of females here in the numerator you will be having thousands denominator also you will be having thousands so directly those values will be cancelled that is the reason why i did not mention about 35000 okay now coming to the calculation part required percentage 35 divided by add all these values what you will get here here it is 22.5 plus 7.5 that is 30 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 20 80 80 plus 
80 plus 35 115 into 100 percentage. Now you can cancel with 5 table. 5 7 sir. 523 sir. 5 7 sir. 523 sir. And next uh, here it is uh, 700 divided by 23. Now you need to calculate this percentage. As we don't want to calculate the exact answer, we need to calculate only the approximate percentage. Approximate percentage is equal to 700 by 3 means that is uh, 23 2 sir. 20, uh, 23 3 sir. 23, 3, sir, 69. And next, uh, it is uh, uh, 69, uh, 1 is there. 10 means, uh, that is 0. You can keep it as uh, 100. 100 means, again, uh, 4 times, uh, around 92. So, 30.4 percentage approximately. If it is approximate answer, you need to go with uh, 30 percentage. Approximately, this particular percentage is uh, 30 percentage. It means the meaning of this question is uh, the number of females in college c is uh, 30 percentage of total number of females who passed out from all the colleges uh, together that is the meaning of that particular question 30 percentage is the required answer for this question which is option b option b is the right choice for this question see the third question here the third question is uh, here the third question is uh, what is the difference between here we need to calculate the difference difference between which numbers we need to calculate total number of students who are passing out from college A and the total number of students who are passing out from college E so here we need to take the total passed out students from college A and total passed out student from college E that difference we need to calculate here A total college A total college A total and uh, college E total college A total and college E total and then we need to take the difference between those two difference in the sense uh, highest value minus lowest value once checked out what is college A total. College A it is 22.5000 and it is 15000. And college E this is 10000 and this is 7.5000. Now college A that is 22.5000 means 22500. And uh, one more is 15000. One more is 15000. Now you can add these two what you will get. Here it is 537,500. College E total, one value is 10,000, one value is 7,500. Total it is 17,500. Now you can take the difference between these two values. 37,500 minus 17,500. That will give you the difference between these two. Difference is equal to 37,500 minus 17,500 which is equal to 20,000. 20,000 is the required difference between a college A total and college E total. That is option D is the right answer for this question. Option D, 20,000. Let us look at the fourth question. Here is the fourth question. What is the respective ratio? Here we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio of which numbers? Total number of males to the total number of females who passed out from all colleges together. So, here the ratio is about uh, total males. Total males is to total females. Total males is to total females. That is the ratio we need to calculate. Now, Take the values. Uh, first, I will take uh, males. Here it is 15 and it is uh, 17.5. It is 27.5 and then it is 25 and then it is 10. First, write in all the values. As everything is, uh, we are calculating the ratio. No need of taking the thousands. So, directly you can take the values. 15, 17.5, 27.5. 25 10 after that write down female values it is 22.5 and it is 20 35 
and next 30 and then it is 7.5 here it is uh, write down all the values 22.5 and next 20 and next 35 and then 30 and at last uh, 7.5 now calculate total males total males here it is 0 that is a uh, n units place is uh, 1 here it is uh, 12 plus 1 13 13 20 uh, 25 2 is the carry forward 2 is the carry forward and next uh, 4 6 8 9 95 this value is 95 total number of uh, males are 95,000 now coming to this case uh, here it is 25 plus 7.5 that is 30 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 20 80 80 plus uh, 35 which is 115 therefore the required ratio is 95 is to 115 95 is to 115 here you can cancel with uh, 5 table 5 19s and next 5 23s therefore the required ratio of total number of males to the total number of females uh, across the colleges across all five colleges which is 19 is to 23 19 is to 23 which is option a option a is the right answer for this question option a let us look at the last question fifth one last question in this session see here the number of males passing out from colleges a and b together is what percent of number of females passing out from colleges uh, C and D together? Here we need to calculate the percentage. We need to calculate the percentage. Percentage of what? From colleges males, males from colleges A and B together, what percent of uh, females, females from colleges C and D together? And whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol, that is a common point, right? Therefore, the required percentage is equal to first uh, males college A and B. Here, males are nothing but that is rhombus shape, which is 15 and 1 is 17.5. 15 plus 17.5. 15 plus 17.5. 15 plus 17.5 divided by and uh, females that is square shape which is uh, c and d colleges uh, that is 35 one is 35 and one is 30 35 plus 30 35 plus 30 into 100 percentage now you can take this value 15 plus 17 32 32.5 uh, into 100 that is uh, 3250 divided by 3250 divided by 65 3250 divided by 65 and next you can cancel with uh, five, 13, uh, 5 table 5 thirteens and next 5 six and next after that uh, 5 five sir, 0 and next 13 5 sir, 65 0 50 percentage therefore the required percentage it means uh, the number of males from colleges A and B together is 50 percentage of number of females from colleges uh, C and D. C and D together. Therefore, the required percentage is equal to 50 percentage. That is our required answer. 50 percentage. Here, among the options, that is uh, option D. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Guys, in this way, you need to solve the questions related to this model. And I hope you un understand each and every problem in this session. And thank you. Thanks for watching.